witness history. Witness Brock. No one plays faster, smarter, harder. It's mid-season, and in the Felton City, history proceeds to make its mark as both teams meet for the 77th time. With the SIC Championship less than a month away, both teams can ill afford anything less than perfection. And outside that door, there's a freaking war. It's a war outside that door. Yes, sir. And if you don't believe that, then you are sadly mistaken. Mm -hmm. Outside this little old door is a freaking war. So you got to make sure you get your head together and get ready for just, just that. Get ready for just that. Damn you! You know! Damn you! You know! Alright baby, y'all ready for this? Ready As one team searches for redemption, another strives for perfection. Alright, you've been trained to play fast. Hard and smart. We need to make sure that we're doing those things on this day, guys. Sure. So let's get out there and let's come back here in the halftime and let's finish it off like we always do. Yeah, sure. Every good man touch somebody. Let's let's, let's rack up. Here we go. Defense! Time up! Defense! Time up! Defense! The first quarter was an all-out slugfest, and with two of the highest scoring offenses in the SIAC, Morehouse flirted with the idea of making key first down plays. The Tuskegee defense played smash mouth football, landing what seemed like vicious blows on every play. The offensive play call seemed unstoppable at times, and the depth chart seemed to be filled with first string talent. On their 19th play of the drive, Tuskegee made a goal line stop, preventing the offense from making plays when it counted the most. Next up was Tuskegee gunslinger, Justin Nairn, who launched a 40-yard pass to receiver Marquel Gardner. However, the momentum didn't last long, as the Maroon Tigers quickly retrieved the ball. Anxious to strike the scoreboard first, the multi-talented offense hit the ground running. As time wound down in the first quarter, the Golden Tigers thrived in the face of adversity. And defensive back William Buford led the assault. Feeding off of the momentum, from the interception, running back Derek Washington rocked and rolled all over the field. And Justin Nairn connected with Marquel Gardner for another huge reception. Tuskegee was no stranger to running the rock. And neither was Michael Thornton as he bulldozed his way into the end zone for the game's first score. As the Maroon Tigers geared up for another run, linebacker Quavon Taylor read the offense like a book, giving Skiggy the second interception of the day. The offense took the field like a band of rock stars. Already on a hot streak, quarterback Justin Neri connected with three different receivers on the next drive. one of which included a pass to wide receiver Desmond Reese, who bolted past Morehouse defenders for a 32-yard touchdown pass. Down 14 to nothing, the sense of urgency became more and more apparent. Morehouse managed to configure a strong running game, pushing them into a familiar place. The closer Morehouse got to the end zone, the harder it became to score. The size and strength of the Tuskegee defensive front executed a perfect stop, 
shutting down the offense once again at the goal line. After Morehouse's defense shut out Tuskegee, all-purpose back Thomas Williams showed how he could change the tempo of a game in a matter of seconds, nearly scoring a touchdown on a 38-yard punt return. Facing the goal line situation again, quarterback Don A. Raglan scrambled in the end zone for a four-yard touchdown. Meanwhile, running back Derek Washington continued his senior campaign, giving Skiggy the versatility to open up the offense. As the third quarter came to a close, Morehouse began to run out of time and opportunity. Even after the defense got the ball back for the Morehouse offense, the Maroon Tigers couldn't seem to catch a break. Well into the fourth quarter, Tuskegee continued to do the one thing that they do best, control the ball. In a string of first downs, Tuskegee continued to keep the ball moving. Morehouse continued to fight. Naird was finding success. And so was Derek Washington. The Golden Tigers capitalized on every opportunity as linebacker Quavon Taylor intercepted the ball once again. And although Morehouse would finish the game with a bang, there could only be one champion. Tuskegee University had become the winners of the 77th Annual Morehouse Tuskegee Classic.